What's up guys, it's BDCool213 here, and right now I'm waiting for Microsoft's E3 press conference to begin. Um, and what I wanted to do in this video was basically give my thoughts on the press conference, and um, yeah, maybe some reactions as well. I'm going to be recording the uh, conference here, and uh, you know, doing some commentary, but I won't be posting the whole conference, maybe just some highlights. So. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for it to start here. It's going to start in about three minutes here. So uh, I guess I'll give my uh, predictions, I guess, of what I hope to see. Uh, obviously, we're going to see some games, which is what they promised, because at the Xbox One reveal, that was something that they really didn't show much was games. So I'm sure we'll see lots and lots of games, or we better see them. Um, but yeah, one game in particular that I'm hoping gets announced, you know, is uh, Killer Instinct 3. Because there was a rumor a few days ago that uh, an old Rare franchise was supposed to be coming back for Xbox One. And seeing as Killer Instinct, I believe, is owned by Rare, which Microsoft owns Rare, uh, it's one of those franchises. So hopefully, you know, that franchise will see a comeback and, you know, finally see it again and we'll see it on Xbox. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully, I hope they show that and new games as well i'm sure there'll be new ips i think they said at the xbox one reveal that there's like 15 or something like that new uh franchises that are coming to xbox one forget i think that's what they said something like that but uh but yeah i want to see some new games as well um hopefully maybe a, a gears of war as well next generation gears of war um and yeah, I mean, basically that's all I want to see is just games. Hopefully they don't focus on TV again like they did last time. And uh, another thing I want them to address is the DRM issues. I don't know um, I don't know if you guys heard. I'm sure everybody's heard about the DRM that they have, like the restrictions. Like basically if you buy a used game and you want to play it on their Xbox One, you have to pay a fee. And... Lending a game to a friend means that they have to be on your friends list for 30 days. And um, once you lend them the game, it's theirs forever and then they can't lend it to somebody else. Um, you know, stuff like that. You know, maybe if we're lucky, hopefully they'll get rid of it, but I doubt it. So, but yeah, it should be starting in a few minutes here. So, uh, I'll be back with my thoughts. All right, guys. Well... Just got done watching Microsoft's E3 press conference, and I gotta say, well, before I say anything, just let me show you guys this. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh my God! Oh! To your home no! Oh no way! Oh my God! I don't believe it. Oh man! Ultra combo! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way! We listened, and Killer Instinct is back only on Xbox One. Oh my God! <laughs> It happened. Killer Instinct announced for the Xbox One. I couldn't believe it. Just like you guys heard, I was excited. Uh, I can't believe after what, 17 years I think was the last, was when the last Killer Instinct, uh, Killer Instinct 2, or Killer Instinct Gold for the N64 came out. Can't believe it's been that long. But, uh, but yeah, finally getting a new Killer Instinct game and, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, the designs of some of the characters look, well, like Jago looks really different. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on and play it. Um, but uh, but yeah, overall the, uh, the I thought the press conference was pretty good. Um, you know, they focused on what pretty much matters to us gamers, and that's video games. So they showed a lot. They showed a lot of games. They started off with um, the Metal Gear Solid Five uh, trailer, um, where they showed Metal Gear Solid Five uh, Phantom Pain, and I gotta say the Fox engine looked amazing. The game looks so great, and I can't wait to, you know, get that game. Definitely getting that for sure. Um, then afterwards, they started showing more games, of course. Uh, they showed Rise, which is like a Roman-style game. Um, and uh, 
one then what else did they show they, sh they just showed a lot of games they showed killer instinct 3 or killer instinct i don't know if it's going to be called killer instinct 3 but uh they showed that uh dead rising 3 uh, they announced a partnership with twitch where you can live stream your gameplay on twitch with xbox one um and uh yeah dead rising 3 and then they showed halo 5 uh it's just coming on xbox one next year apparently next year um and at the end they showed titanfall and uh but yeah overall the conference was really good and I mean, they had a lot of games to show them even more than what i just mentioned right now they they had more games and uh yeah even though it was a pretty good press conference they had a few uh a few technical difficulties from the creator of Panzer Dagoon and Phantom Dust, here's the premiere of Crimson Dragon, exclusively on Xbox One. That was good. <laughs> what did you say? Xbox sucks. <laughs> We will start over. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it will happen, I promise. I'm fine. Xbox volume. <laughs> I guess you may see it later. We're continuing. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, I mean, uh, it was a pretty good conference. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what Sony's going to do and then Nintendo's going to do tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing another one of these videos for the Sony press conference tonight. Um, fortunately, I don't think I'll be able to post it up tonight because uh, as soon as it's done, I have to go to work. Fortunately, couldn't get the day off. But uh but yeah, I'm going to be recording my reactions if anything amazing happens for me that I find amazing at least. But uh, I'll talk about what I think about the press conference and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have that up for you guys tomorrow. Uh, along with Nintendo's E3, uh, Nintendo Direct, since they're not doing a press conference, so they're just going to be doing a regular Nintendo Direct with like an hour long or something like that. But, um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, Oh, one more thing. I forgot to mention the price, of course. Uh, they announced that the price is going to be $499, uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, it's a lot of money. i got to say, it's a lot of money. Um, you know, I'm, but after seeing this press conference, oh, God, just... <laughs> I really want to play all those games. I know some of them, some of those games will probably come on um, PlayStation 4. Uh, some of them. Uh, but like Dead Rising 3, for example, they said it was an exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure if it's true. It might be a timed exclusive, but if it ends up being an actual exclusive for the Xbox One, then that's, that's pretty big. Um, but yeah, it's coming out in November, just like I thought, November, of course. And I'm, I'm guessing that's when the PS4 is going to come out in November. Uh, 499 US dollars. Um, forget how much 
much is going to be in other countries but uh yeah that's the price and we have a month november which i of course that's the xbox 360 came out in november 2005 Wii in november 2006 and ps3 in november that yeah, seems like the the norm you know it's come every new system comes out in november so all right so uh yeah that's uh was my thoughts of the uh, e3 press conference pretty good conference now to see what sony and nintendo have up their sleeves all right guys until next time take it easy